Hi folks, welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today's episode is something new and something blue for the Fading Suns game. These are, are brand new products that have been published by Red Brick Limited under license from Fading Suns. They use the victory point system, which is the standard, which is the standard um, Fading Suns engine. So let's talk about these. They are Church Fiefs and Arcane Tech. In addition to these, they published a variety, on the web only so far, a variety of short-ish adventures called Shards that are quite good. I recommend looking at them. There's one that deals with finding a new jump road. There's one that deals with going into the dark to find a ship. They're fun, shorter adventures, sort of good introductions for your players into the universe so they can see what it's like. So, that being said, let's take a look at these two settings, Arcane Tech and Church Fiefs. We'll start with Church Fiefs. This is a relatively short book. It clocks in at around 60 pages. But what it does is it expands on the worlds held by the church. Each one of the power structures in the Fading Suns world have had their own sort of book of planets to choose from. For example, you've had the Hawkwood planets, the Dikados, the Al-Malik, the Lihalan, the Vahazat. When they published them all together as the Guide to the Known Worlds, then you had the Imperial Planets, Byzantium Secundus, Nowhere, Tethys, also published therein. So that's another one. This brings in the Church Fiefs. These are the planets that the Church has under their thumb. They include Holy Terra, Artemis, Pentateuch, Pyre, and Demolay. It details those planets, sort of what's going on there, their history, how they were established, and ultimately what the role they play currently in each of the, each of the individual sub-factions of the churches sort of vie for power or vie for survival. It's an interesting book. My only complaint is I would like a better map of Pentateuch than they provided in Weird Places. I think what they did in Weird Places was the map of Pentateuch was the map from the computer game, um, Emperor of the Fading Suns, which was very hex-based and they didn't like it. They didn't even reprint it in here. They just said, see this, and they're not going to give you any more information on Pentateuch other than a couple pages of, here's what's happened since then. But it's good to see how Mother Earth has survived, Holy Terra, and how all of the other planets sort of interact with the church and its vie for control and power. Arcane Tech. This is not to be confused with the main tech book, which is sort of the Forbidden Lore book. This deals with really next generation technology that the church would not be very happy if they knew you had. One thing, it deals with cybernetics, it deals with other types of technology. One thing I like, it introduces another faction of the church, the preceptors, whose entire purpose was to study and understand technology so it wouldn't be as scary. And they've sort of been marginalized by, well, let's face it, the Avestites, if you follow this line. So it's sort of how you can play one of them who really aren't liked anymore, but they're still around. I really like these books. I love Fading Suns. My only problem is I'm never sure what I should do with it. There are so many options with this game, I'm never sure exactly the avenue I should take. But I gotta tell you that Red Brick has done a great job revitalizing the line, publishing new material for it, they're talking about doing a third edition of the game itself, which is very exciting. They also have just licensed Blue Planet, another one of my favorite science fiction games, to start reprinting older material and come up with new material for that world. So, I think Red Brick is a great company to watch. They're doing fantastic stuff. These are two great, all new books of material for Fading Suns that could bring a lot to your game. For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good day and good gaming.